episode or video on the channel and uh it's been like two weeks and i uh, finally got a new video coming out and yeah the day is going to be a uh, video on how to build a really simple iron farm it's been the simplest one that i've ever seen which actually works and yeah let's just uh watch what i'm doing and uh just follow what i'm doing and it'll work for you. It's very efficient. So yeah, let, for things you're going to need is um, let's just get here. Twenty fletching tables, a ch two chests. Depends on how big you want to make your collection system. One hopper. Also depends on that. Two water buckets. And uh, 20 beds, and you also need 20 villagers, and I think that's it. And uh, torches to make sure no mobs spawn in the villager chamber. So, yeah, just follow what I'm doing, and it'll work for 1.17, 0.30, and 0.32. So yeah, let's just get into the building. First off, you're going to need to mine out a 5x5 five five area. So, 3, 4, 5. And once you've done that, just take it down 6 more blocks. Four, five, six, seven. Alrighty, just as deep as that. And once you've done that, just make sure it's unblocked. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yep. And then after you've done that, just mine out two blocks inside, then go all around. Just like this. Ready? So. Once you've done exactly what I've done here, grab your beds, place one right there, then one right there, skip the corner, do it again, skip another corner. After you've done that, just go up here, place five beds like this, another five like this, and two more like this. Grab your blocks, what you're using for, it doesn't matter which block, because you're never going to see this anyway. Just, and just cover all these beds. Go to one side, mine out two blocks like that, and two more like this. Repeat that for the opposite wall. And for these other walls, just mine out two like this, and just one like that, on each side. Now, get your fletching tables, just place them all like this. Um, after that, or Before we do the next step, I just want to say that you can use any profession block that you like. I... Just use fletching tables for because they're the easiest to make and you have to have 
some kind of professional block. So yeah, just after you've done that, just light up the area a little bit. Make sure no zombies or anything's here, because this is where your villagers are going to go. Uh, have a minecart, try to make him go in there, buy a minecart. You're going to need 20 villagers for the maximum efficiency. If you don't have 20 villagers and you want, don't want to get 20 villagers, 10 villagers should do just fine. Just then it won't be as efficient. So get yourself 20 villagers in here. Or 10, whatever, you, whatever you're doing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And I just want to say that make sure there are no green coat villagers with you because that will mess it up. So just kill them. So now they're twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, lag spike, 19, 20, that should be 20 villagers, let's count them real quick, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, lag spike, 19, 20, alrighty, I think those are 20, and once you're done with that, just place blocks over them because this is the platform where your iron golems are going to spawn and yeah let's just cover it up After you've done that, back on here, just mine out all around two blocks like this to extend it one more block. I already got cats in here, good sign, and as soon as you get your farm done, there should be iron golems spawning already, for even before you finished. And then go to one side, now two blocks like this. I recommend you doing this because otherwise your iron golems are going to be in the way. Place two chests like this, mine out this block. And you're going to see a fletching table here if you did this correctly. And just crouch and place a hopper right there. And then get yourself signs I forgot about that three signs to be exact and a bucket of lava and a fence gate and a slab we're gonna need a slab Just grab any slab, place it there, place a block there, and just place a sign right there, there, and, oops, there. Now, grab a block, place it there, just for now, it's temporary, place a fence gate, open it. Then put your lava. Now go to a corner. Place a block in each corner. And uh, put your water bucket. So that's basically the farm all done. And if you want to make sure that there are going to be no iron golems spawning at the uh, on the grass here or like nearby anywhere near otherwise just place leaf blocks or stuff mob proof it and it will always spawn here so iron golems should have spawned by now 
Maybe I didn't have enough villagers. Let me go fix that real quick. Okay, so that was my problem. I didn't have it, so just make sure that you have enough villagers, otherwise this farm will not work. So iron golems should be spawning some sometime soon, so let's just wait and see how long it takes. Um, while we wait, we can Not perfect, real quick. If you want to do this, put a couple of layers of leaves around, around it just to make sure that there are going to be no iron golem spawning out of the area. And don't place it too nearby the lava, otherwise that's going to burn. Iron golems should have spawned by now. Let me just figure out if there's going to be a cave, if there's a cave around there, and I'll get... Okay, so I finally, finally realized what was wrong with this. As you can see, now there's an iron golem. And uh, the problem was I had too many villagers. Oh, there's another one. I had 22 villagers, I think. So you have even one too many, it's not going to work. So yeah, now you know. And uh, if you want to trade with these villagers, you can totally do that. Wait, what? Oh, whatever. You can stop there and use any profession block. does not require just fletching goals. All, they all have to be... So yeah, 20 fletchers or whatever. And uh, yeah, let's see how long it'll take until a new one. New iron gold. There's a cat. Oh well. I will just do this and I'll do my outro until an iron golem spawns. So thank you all so much for watching for this video. And uh, there we go, have a new one. And uh, I'll catch you live in the next video. And yeah, bye bye.